Hey everybody, Adam here for True North Wilds with a special edition unboxing of the Simple Fishing new mystery bait box. Uh, these are different from the subscription boxes. These are not a subscription. These are $50 boxes and you can buy them in a variety of species. There's a multi-species box, a bass box, northern pike box, and a walleye box. Um, I've got the bass and the walleye boxes because the multi-species I assume was just going to cover a little bit of everything. Um, I wanted to see how the specific ones stack up and I didn't get a northern pike box because let's face it he can catch a northern pike on an old shoe if you try. Um, so I have a walleye box and a bass box that I decided to try. I'm going to open them up and see how they stack up compared to the regular subscription box and just other species specific uh, lures that I have experience with. Um, first thing that I notice right off the bat and anybody at Simple Fishing that is watching there's no labels on these boxes. I don't know which is which. So hypothetically, if I had ordered a walleye box for my cousin and wanted the bass box for myself, uh, I receive these boxes with no sort of labels whatsoever. Where does that leave me, Simple Fishing? That leaves me having to open up both boxes for myself. Not necessarily a bad thing, just saying. So I have no idea which is which. I'm going to open up both of them. If there's some literature inside that tells me which is which, that'll be great. If not, I'm going to try and guess which box is which based on what's in them. So, let's get started. Uh, they both look exactly the same. I'm going to just go ahead and pick this one, I guess. So these are, I should point out, these are big boxes. These are, they're thick. They're not like the regular subscription one. Uh, they are, holy crap, they are packed full of stuff. So, got uh, some stickers and some literature and stuff, which I'll look at afterwards. All right, we have Big, da big Diddy Date, Big Diddy Baits, LLC. Big Diddy Baits. So, this is a... Uh, Similar in color and similar in the red sparkles, uh, just a slightly different shape from some of the grubs that uh, we just got in the subscription box. Not really much for scent that I can smell. Doesn't mean it's not on there, it's just that I can't smell it. So these have a nice, uh, these have a nice shape to them. They got that nice rib body and they got the wide tail on them, which is a nice shape, and it's all, the tail's got that serrated sort of look to it. Should be pretty good action in the water. The plastic feels not too bad, it's a little bit softer than I typically like, but uh, the shape is nice, the color's nice. I think that'll work fine. This could be walleye or bass, I'm not sure, so I won't make a guess yet based on that. Next thing we have, okay, I'm gonna guess based on this. Uh, maybe. So we have a Cool Baits lure company. Uh, we have just a, it's a little jig head. 316th ounce, 316th ounce jig head. And it's got the little uh, blade on it. So this is kind of a normal, normal thing. You can jig for bass, you can jig for walleye. I want to say I'm leaning more towards the walleye right now, but that could be for bass as well. But it's a nice jig head. It's got a decent color. The blades on the jig heads I don't usually have a lot of success with, but in the right applications, um, they can be pretty good. So it's got that nice sort of blue and silver color. So nothing wrong with that. Cool Baits Lure Company, Trailers Drop Shot. So these are some nice plastics. Again, no scent that I can detect. Doesn't mean it's not there. They got some sort of, some sort of a coating on them, so I'm assuming there's a scent. And they're this nice, sort of two-tone, clear, whitish color on the bottom, and then sort of a green, nice green on the top that's also pretty transparent, so. These are just a, you know, a basic sort of rubber shape, uh, like it says right on the bag, trailers, drop shot. I don't see how those would be a bad thing to try out. And again, bass or walleye. I'm still kind of leaning towards walleye. 
but we'll see what else we got here. Okay, we got a Rapala Skitter Pop. These things are cool. These are surface baits. So that pretty much confirms it for me. This is not a walleye box, this is the bass box. So this is a surface popper. It's a Rapala, obviously it's gonna be good quality. It's got a nice color to it. It's got the, the feather on the, the back treble hook. It's got that nice popper shape on top. So this is something that goes along the surface, pops against the surface of the water, bass come up and grab it from underneath. Uh, the color is just called shad color, but it's got that nice sort of a got that nice sort of a pink splash on it. So that should be fun. It's a good size. It's got a good weight to it. Got another surface lure. So this is a, a frog, surface frog. These frogs are uh, rubber and they got a little bit of a weight on them, so you can actually cast them. And you same as the the, the skitter pop, you walk these along the surface from lily pad to lily pad you know, over top of weeds, uh, over top of rocks, anywhere you think that the bass are going to be feeding, they'll come up to the surface and grab that. These are a lot of fun. Some Vector wide gap hooks, 10 uh, size 3, basic terminal tackle, so it's always nice to get some of that. You can never have enough basic tackle. Oh, these look good. Imperium baits. Warning, not for human consumption. You think? These definitely have a scent to them. They got that sort of spicy licorice scent that seems to be common. These are fantastic. I really like these. I've really been getting into using this sort of style of uh, worm with uh, different types of rigs. Just on a jig, on a wacky rig, Carolina. Um, they really seem to work well around here. So it's got that nice olive green color on top. It's got red sparkles white bottom. It's got a really good weight to it. It's a really nice firm rubber. Um, it's a good size. Happy for that. Uh, and the pack has a lot of them in it, which is always nice. Definitely we'll be using those. Bass Attacker infused with bass fuel, whatever that is. So Bass Attacker brand. Plastics again. And some more worms. These are just more your basic skinny worm. It's more of a natural greeny brown sort of color. Got some black, black sparkles in there. Thin. Feels pretty solid as far as the rubber goes, but sort of your basic, basic worm. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, the Live Target Bait Ball. Thread fin shad color. So this thing is big. Live Target, of course. It's a good brand. I have I have a number of uh, live targets. I don't have these bait balls yet. Well, I do now, I guess. But I haven't used one of these before. Ooh. It's got a big rattle in there. It's got a big whatever ball bearing or whatever they use in there. But that is a big thump. That'll make a big thump in the water. So it's this bait ball. It's uh, as you can see, it's meant to imitate a small school of fish um, to trigger that attack. It's got some nice color. Got the blue on the top. The fish themselves are sort of a yellowy um, body and then the silver sort of base color. This will dive down pretty well. It's got that nice big lip. It's a wide lip so it'll catch a lot of water. It'll dive down pretty quick and then um, that big thump in there as it's diving and as, as it's bouncing off rocks and uh, debris on the bottom that'll be making a lot of noise. So, I imagine that's going to work quite well. It's big. It's, uh, it's got some heft to it. I like that. Alright, the last product that we have in the box. Bass Attacker Bass Fuel. So this is uh, what those other plastics were apparently infused with. Non-human consumption, of course. Uh, it doesn't really say much about what it is. I'm assuming it's just a, a scent that you would rub on your plastic or rub onto whatever. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, that is a strong smell. That is a strong garlic smell, is what that is. And that's not uncommon to hear about around here, actually. I know a lot of people that use just garlic um, to give some scent. 
So it's got this little dabber on the bottom, so I imagine you would just dab it onto whatever you want to apply the scent to. That is a, a strong garlic scent. We got our Cool Baits Lure Company sticker, Simple Fishing sticker, of course. And we got an envelope here with something in it. What's in your mystery bait box? So it tells you the products that you get in the box, just uh, just like normal. So that was the bass box, obviously. As far as bass go, good box. I uh, can't say I'm disappointed with anything there. I like the fact that they finally give me some hooks to go with the plastics. I get a lot of plastics so far. You don't often get the right hooks to go with them. So you get the wide gap hooks there that you can actually use with the worms and the, the plastics that they give you. So keep that up. So obviously this is the walleye box. Let's see what we got to work with here for walleye. Again, this is a, a well-packed box. There's a lot of stuff in here, I can tell right away. The card showing what everything is. The stickers. Okay, so this is the Crunch Minnow. Pro Point Crunch Minnow. Umbrella rig ready. I am not familiar with an umbrella rig. But, okay, so it's a, it's a nice little rubber swim bait. It looks like it's a goby pattern, if I was to guess. I'm not positive on that, but it, that's my guess. It's got the nice paddle tail. It's got a really nice color. If it is a, a goby pattern, or whatever the pattern is, but it's got a, a, it's got a nice streak of purple from the middle. And the plastic itself is clear, sort of a gray color, but then that nice streak of purple in the middle, I'm not sure if it'll pick it up on the camera or not, because it's kind of on the inside. It's got this nice pattern with the black spots, and it's got a pretty good weight to it, and the rubber feels nice and solid. Good size. Definitely, uh, I can see that being a good walleye lure. I'm not sure if we have this particular pattern as a bait fish around here, but if you get them when they're feeding, they're not usually too particular. I mean, we throw all kinds of different colors and stuff, so that should be fairly decent. Ah, the pickerel rig. Sort of a normal, common, uh, used for catching walleye. I gotta say, I'm not a fan of pickerel rigs, and I don't really support anybody using these. I won't personally use them, just because, unless you modify them, I should, I should say, unless you modify them. It's based, the pickerel rig is basically just a drop shot with two hooks instead of one. If you really want to get into it, just do that. But the hooks that come in any pickerel rig that you buy from the store, for the most part, they're really not a good style of hook for walleye, and they, and other fish that will grab onto them while you're fishing for the walleye. Around here, anyway, um, they kill they kill a lot of fish. They they swallow them really easily. The hooks aren't aren't good to get out of the the guts. And if you're not planning on keeping everything you catch, not the best thing to use. So I'm not a huge fan of that. I might throw one of these in. Um, I might modify it, put on some different hooks. Um, and see if I can catch on it just to say that I caught on it, but in general Anybody that gets these change the hooks out. Don't use these hooks. They kill a lot of fish unnecessarily The cyber grub high-tech lures So this is sort of a standard Pre-rigged jig with grub. It's got a nice yellow color. The plastic is a nice orange color it's a common color to catch walleye on around here. No, uh, nothing special with that. It's this is sort of just a standard, good, reliable combo to use. Another Rapala. So the Rapala X Rap. Rapala, of course, always good. This is a swimming depth of three to five. So this will be more in the colder water when they come up a little bit more shallow. It's got the nice minnow type uh, coloring, it's got a little bit of red on the front, you know, that shallow diver. It's got a decent weight to it, good hooks, everything, so it's a, it's a good quality Rapala. I have a few of uh, 
these in different sizes, different patterns, and they always work well. So nothing wrong with that. Again, more hooks. Keep it up. I like that. You can never have too many of those. Len Thompson spoons. Len Thompson makes fantastic spoons. Super glow. So this is a glow in the dark spoon. Uh, I'm assuming it's a glow in the dark spoon. It is the Len Thompson Super Glow. It's kind of got that white color that glow in the dark stuff usually has. Got the five of diamonds pattern with the orange, uh, which is good. It's a decent size. For the small size of it, it actually has a bit of weight to it. The uh, spoon is nice and thick, so you'll be able to actually cast that a decent distance and let it sink a little bit, despite the fact that it's a bit of a smaller size. But if it glows in the dark, like uh, I assume it does, it's got some nice sparkle in there, that orange pattern. Be able to catch some walleye on that. And most likely I'll pull up a lot of pike on that too. Uh, some swimming grubs. So again, sort of a old faithful jig with a grub. They just come pre-rigged. Good color, orange, chartreuse jig heads, and a uh, mix of an orange and uh, greeny type color of grub. They give you some nod information how to tie them on the back. Again, sort of standard, nothing uh, special, but these things are proven, they work, so happy with that. So, oh. Havoc Hot Mess 4 inch smash tubes. I don't have anything quite like this. I don't, I don't really, uh, I haven't used tubes much. I've just never really had the opportunity um, these are a nice pink color, so it's the right color. You're going to get some action out of that. They're a good size. They're salted. They got some scent to them. So I'll throw a jig in, inside there, or I'll throw a hook in there, and see what I can catch on those. I don't imagine that it'll be too hard to catch anything on those. That's uh, The color's right. I've heard good things about using tubes like this. I just have not personally done it yet, so looking forward to trying that out. Lunker Hunt Bento Baits. I have a couple of these in different patterns, in different sizes. These things work well. These are smaller ones, so these would be more when the when I need to more uh, finesse fish a little bit. They got a really nice reflection. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it or not. They got a nice tail action. The red tail simulate that sort of injured prey fish. They got a nice little perch pattern and just an overall good shape. So I'll throw a small jig head on that and uh, those should work pretty well. They got the really nice reflection on the inside as I'm looking at it now. Uh, they got the foil or whatever it is that they put in there and it is reflecting a lot of light. So That'll be good for dropping down a little bit deeper or some darker water, attracting some things to come up towards it. And last in this box we have the Seville Action First, the Swing Tail Minnow. The swing Tail Minnow. I'm not familiar with this brand of lure, but this style, this style of crank is pretty familiar to me. It's a jointed. It's got the box is jumping around. So it's got a nice sturdy joint. It doesn't have just the one hinge in the middle like a lot of them do. It's actually got two hinges, one on top, one on bottom. So it gives it some good back and forth action but eliminates a lot of that up and down and just makes it a little bit more durable. So that's pretty good. Good to see. It's got a nice diver there. It'll go, I'm assuming, it'll go down six to eight. Doesn't say on here. Doesn't, uh, it does say, no, it doesn't say. So this is Cracked Fire Tiger color, but, uh, yeah, it doesn't say exactly what the depth will go. I'm assuming 6 to 8, just based on the, the bill there. Nice color, Fire Tiger. I really like that, you, one thing you don't see on a lot of Fire Tiger is that top pattern with that really bright contrast, black and green. Uh, I don't, I don't see that a lot dynamics to the, uh, fi to the traditional sort of Fire Tiger pattern. These do well here, Fire Tiger, everything here loves Fire Tiger. I'll be able to catch walleye on that, I'm pretty sure.
and then they give you know sort of a description of how to fish it. And that's it for the walleye box. I gotta say, good box again. Um, not a fan of the pickerel rigs. Uh, I wish people wouldn't use them, but that's just a personal thing. Everything else uh, I will absolutely use. I have no doubt I'll be able to catch fish on all of them. The bass box again, really good stuff in there. Uh, I really got no complaints. This is something I'll probably get more of. I think this was worth it. I think if you are looking to target a specific species, this was a good example of species specific boxes. So well done, simple fishing on that. Uh, for your first try at it, I would say you succeeded. Um, I'll most likely try it again. Uh, I don't think I would try the northern pike. As I said, any of this stuff that I just pulled out here will catch pike around here. Uh, might be di might be different in different areas, so I don't want to sound like I'm knocking that or anything. Uh, and the multi-species, I assume, is a mix of everything. I think if I was to order more boxes, I would probably stick with the species-specific ones myself, just because typically if I'm ordering, I'm ordering for a specific thing uh, with a specific goal in mind. So thanks everybody for watching. If you like what you see, check us out on Facebook, facebook.com slash True North Wilds. If you enjoy reading, you can read about some of my adventures, um, truenorthwilds.com. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, it'll keep you up to date, it'll give you notifications when I post a new video. I'll be taking all of these out onto the water later this week, I'm going on a fishing trip. I'll try them all out, see how they work, whether they work, whether they don't work, my thoughts on them, how they perform, all of that fun stuff. I'll post it up on a video, hopefully the week after I get back. Until then, I'll see you outside.